Most people are aware of what a police officer looks like. They are also aware of what they do to solicit information from people who live in poverty. It's always amazing to see how a company will allow someone a uniform or a police officer will go someplace to buy a uniform off a goodwill rack to pretend to be something that he's not. In life, it's called the police brigade. And a police brigade often sends, well, their wives, their moms, their friends to go solicit people. A woman dressed in sort of an old-fashioned uh, kind of 80s, 90s something attire just approached me to ask me if the geese were mine. And of course, I didn't really imply that they were mine, but they do come to see me at regular nauseam because they fly overhead. They check in with me and I give them a clap to know if I have any extra food that is left over from my purchases from my life. What I give to other people is my choice in my ministry and in my business. But that is the truth of life. There's a lot of people who got information this past week at all. It's not true. There are some businesswomen I reached out to, but none of them have the fortitude or the wherewithal at this point so far to walk up and talk to me as if we were actually at a networking event. And for that, I'm sad. What I do know is that women are very shrewd, and they will often marvelously go up and test someone or walk in a retail operation and test the people about the people that might be seated in what they might consider in their unprofessional mind and lack of interest or lack of understanding of poverty and street life and cybercrime, identity theft and fraud that can destroy a life about people outside 